previously on Deadly Premonition. Okay then, Zack. Let's go back over our progress. Okay. First the victim, Anna's death. Yes. She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. Uh -huh. She was cut open with a knife from her chest down to her stomach. That was the direct cause of death. Who's this? Oh. Nope, she's got both heels. Who are you? My name is Becky. The parking lot. <laughs> Whoa there! Who's this guy? Did you need something? Is that the... <gasps> That's the guy from the truck. No, I was just passing by. I didn't think anybody else was here other than Polly. The door opening like that just, it surprised me, that's all. Horse case and sapling salesman. Huh. I'm pretty much the only one who can make those saplings sprout. Huh. There's a trick to it that can't really be passed on, you know? It's like, oh, the secret of making a good smoked ham, something like that. Zach, do you remember what the coffee said? Forest Kaysen. F. K. Oh. This show has just begun. Hello everyone, Necrovary is back with another episode of Deadly Premonition Director's Cut. If you remember in the last episode, uh, we got all schnazzed up and Emily's wearing her night out costume. I forgot to disable that. Oh well, you know what, she can stay like that, that's fine. Um, we are gonna go for some art appreciation over at the art gallery. So let's get in and let's head on over there. The gallery is called Muses Gallery. The Muses were the nine daughters of the goddess of memory in Greek mythology. Ah, uh, it's just like Diane to name it that way. Is she that intelligent a woman? Oh, uh, maybe. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Did you see how Emily reacted, Zach? I sense that this Diane is not popular among other women. I can't wait to meet her. The gallery is on the north side of town. Take the road along the lake and go north. Oh, can't be that hard. I'll get lost though. All right, let's go. Um, already failing. That's better. Oh jeez. All right, let us take the road and uh, jeez, oh man, what the hell? I can't drive all of a sudden. An art gallery in such a small town. Am I prejudiced to think that it doesn't seem to fit? Greenvale and every small town has every right to enjoy art. That's right. Small towns tend to be full of highly cultured people. Mm -hmm. Although I can't say I've ever been to the gallery myself. George, what about you? Are you into art? Actually, yes. I like going to the gallery. It's very relaxing there. Really, uh. George? I never knew that about you for all this time. Emily, please. I'm just as cultured as everyone else. Some people just have sides to them that you'd never expect. <sighs> By the way, about Diane, the owner of the gallery. Is she the type that isn't very appreciated by other women? What do you mean? Exactly what it sounds like, Emily. Is she very attractive, especially to the opposite sex? So you're asking if she's sexy, right? Well, she does always wear high heels. And definitely, it's uh, hard to explain. But that doesn't make me biased, okay? She just seems to, to look down on people. She always has. I just don't like people like that. That must be because sex appeal has no effect on you. Now that's out of line. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't mean to poke fun at you. You just reacted so strongly to Diane's name. I did not. It, it's like you're suggesting I'm the total opposite of her. Is that it? Oh, Emily, that's not what anyone is suggesting. Let's just drop this conversation, okay? All right. We are here at the art gallery. Let's pull in. There we go. Let's see what uh, Diane presents. 
It looks more like an old creatures. mansion than an art gallery. Diane liked the building so much she turned it into an art gallery. Oh. She left the exterior untouched and had the insides redone. So she's rich. She bought this place, didn't she? Does that answer your question? Kind of. Indeed it does. Well, George, Emily, I want to talk with Diane alone. Will you wait here for me? Uh, don't tell me you still don't trust us. No, that's not it. But this is very important to me. I always make sure that I meet with the important ones, one on one. Otherwise, it's difficult to sense the subtle reactions of the suspect. This is just how I do things, and I'd appreciate your understanding. I can't take her serious with that ridiculous what? outfit. Go on, then. You're not going to listen to us anyway, are you? You're starting to understand me, George. <laughs> well then, Zach. Let's go and meet Lady Diane. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Pretty sure I killed one of those things in Mass Effect. No reply. Let's take a look around then, Zach. Maybe not. Uh, it looks kind of like a Reaper, but not really. Okay, let's head on upstairs first. Everybody knows that upstairs is the way to go with my gun. Okay, I just want to make sure that I knew what I was doing here. Since it always seems like... Since we're here, and we go in alone, there's always shadows following us. So I gotta kill everything, which... Doesn't feel like I'm killing patrons, which is good. Oh, there's a check-in desk. Let's go over here first. We're gonna save real quick. All right, so I had to back out of the game and uh, change some stuff. We are back in uh, after saving. Sorry about that. Um, you can see the frame rate's a little bit smoother. Hopefully that fixes it. So let's take a look here. Oh, who's this? <laughs> Should I notice that we're here? Um, what's Olivia doing here? She's from the diner, right? Hello, Olivia. Do you like art? Yes, yes, I do. Oh, maybe not. Well, I, I mean, I, I like trees. Trees, okay. Ah, but I see because these are all tree paintings. Do you come here often then? Oh, uh, well, um, no. Just sometimes. I'm sorry, I really need to get back to the diner. Oh, she is in the diner, okay. That's suspicious. Zach, she was lying about something. She said trees, not paintings of trees. She doesn't need to come here to see trees. There's tons of trees outside. Oh, she dropped some stuff. Ooh. Let's go take a look at that first. Olivia's memo. Got Olivia's memo. The key to the art gallery. That's cool. Anything else dropped? No, there was not. Okay, let's head back over here and take a look at this painting then. Trees of Twilight, a beautiful painting of six trees bathed in a sunset glow. Oh, cool. Can we go in here? Oh, we shouldn't try to get in there. Okay. Hmm. Well, what's over here? What is this thing? I want to know what this thing is. It's at least five meters tall. Pretty big for an object. For an object art. Pointy branches, razor sharp leaves. Good taste on the curator's part. Greeting us with such a cool and sharp setup. Right, Zach. So it's a tree, okay. Surprisingly, it has the same structure as the tree Anna was found on. It's not trespassing if we have a key, right? Okay. I don't know what that noise meant, but I have a feeling that this is not good.
This is a big ass art gallery. Jeez, oh man. We're looking for clues. There's a save point. It's always good to save. They're gonna be like, why are you bothering us again? Be like, well, you know. And they're like, oh good, we'll pay you extra. Pay you extra for calling us more often. Oh, is this an? What is that? These boxes? Oh, why is there an outdoor area? Let's climb up here, and what's in here? Like a? Can I not get in there? Okay. Interesting. Let's go this way then. This is more like an art gallery. Ooh. Hey, it's red trees. Autumn leaves, a beautiful painting painting four trees in their reddish splendor. Okay. Oh, there's a ton of trees in here. That's really interesting of why everything is a bloody tree. Ooh, there's something missing. Painting used to be displayed here. The title plate reads red butterflies frolicking through the, though the painting itself is nowhere to be seen. What's over here? Can we get up in there? I see a padlock door through the window. I might be able to shoot the lock off from here. Wait, what? <laughs> Can I? I guess we're doing this then. Just don't tell anyone. It's not breaking and entering if I shoot the lock off, right? I mean, I had a key. It doesn't have to be for the door that I want it to be to. Right? That makes me wonder, you know what, before we go there, let's go back this way real quick and let's just see if we can shoot a padlock off on the other window. Um, because that would be interesting if I miss something like that. Okay, so, there's a door there. I wonder if I can go, can I go in that? Area? Did I just miss the doorway? There's a door here. Probably shouldn't try to get in there. Okay, well, that doesn't do me a darn thing. Why have a window there then? That makes no sense. The same question would be asked of why have a bathroom if you can't use it. But okay, not gonna not gonna get into arguing like that. Let's go in the padlocked off door. It's interesting the padlock was on the inside of the door. That makes no sense. The girl in the woods. This. Call this a painting? A bit primitive with poor composition. Hardly the work of a master. But strangely, though, it powerfully exudes a soft, warm feeling. On the back it says, Guardian of the Art Gallery, in fresh strokes. So someone added that recently. Guardian of the Art Gallery. Wouldn't that be Diane? And why is this painting here? I got a girl in the woods. Is she naked? She could be naked, I don't know. But okay. Thank you, suspicious window. Alright, let's see what else is here now. Um, nothing here. There's a hallway this way. Is there anything down the hallway? I'm just kind of exploring to make sure I've gone everywhere. Oh, I could've just went this way in the first place. Um, just make sure I've gone everywhere first. That probably goes back to the main area, I'm assuming. Okay, that's a flat door. Okay. We are just gonna go back this way, and there's a red marker here. Let's go in here. So far, no shadows in here, which is good. Oh, this room is... Oh, is that downstairs? Wait, what floor are we on? We were on the first floor, weren't we? So this is the basement. Maybe? There's a lot of, like, dress mannequins here. I don't like that. This has to be the basement, yeah. Is 
We have 11 rounds of that. There's a freight elevator down here. It wasn't raining when I went in here, so I don't think... The oh, look. Splotches on the ground. Oh. Oh, this is a lovely place. Yeah. I'm just going to grab this Agent Honor first. Thank you. Okay, let's take a look here. So, what is this stuff? Are these... Oh, these are file cabinets of some sort. Just like in the police station, right? Okay, nothing in that one. Thank you. Oh, this one. Why would you have this in here? I guess you could store art in here, but it'd be really bad to store it in the basement, especially with like... Oh, smoked salmon, thank you. Especially with like the dinginess of it. Like, art's, art needs to be in a temperature controlled area. Especially good art. You don't want it to like yellow and stuff. Okay. It's funny how we just found smoked salmon there. It looks all burnt up and stuff. Oh! That's the painting we were missing. Red butterflies frolicking on a large tree, and red butterflies almost looks as if it is burning. Could I take it, I guess? Um, okay, well, can I, can I take the painting? Hold on. I can't take the painting, no. Okay, so I think that's all I needed to find was that. Okay, well, we found the missing painting. It's in storage. Maybe she's just making room for other paintings. Can we go with the freight elevator? No, we cannot. So that doesn't do me any good. I don't know the damn code. Um, am I missing something? Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. <sighs> okay, so we need to figure out what's going on with that. So, it's a three code thing. Oh yeah, we have this note from Olivia. Let me take a look at that. The special... Oh, this is it. Okay. Tree at sunset, red leaves, dancing red butterflies. Pass to the office, number of red trees from the special exhibition room. Olivia must have dropped this note. Zach, can you make any sense of this? Okay. So, number of red trees from the special ex exhibit room. Okay, so maybe it has to do with something else. Because there's... There's three digits. There was an, wasn't there another painting somewhere else? Hey, let's look at the note one more time, hold on. Let's look at the note one more time. Cause maybe I'm overlooking something in there. Okay. So there's ABC. So there's, there's three letters there and those are three paintings I'm assuming. So that would be <sighs> okay, so tree, so tree at sunset, red leaves, dancing red butterflies. Okay, so we've seen dancing red butterflies. That's in the basement. That's there's one tree in that one. Red leaves, I think, is four, and then tree at sunset. Tree at sunset. Where was that? Was that the painting out in the beginning of everything? Let me let me go back here. Let me go back out to the main area. Maybe this is it. Okay, so let's go back out here, because there was one other painting here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, six, four, one? Yeah, shove that door, York. Let's try that code real quick, six, four, one. 
God, I hope this is right because then I'm out of ideas. X four one. Hey. Yeah, that worked. Okay, good. All right, let's head on inside. It's another room. Like I said, there's no point in you having this. I can put it to far better use. I'm taking it with me, okay? That's fine by me then, as you wish. Whoa. Oh, that's Thomas's sister, isn't it? The FBI agent, right? Just wait a moment, please. I'll be right with you. That's the lady from the... Well, maybe, yeah, so no, there's no way you could have lady. been at the scene of the crime. That's right. I was drinking at the bar with Nick until early morning. I'm sure if you ask him about it, he'll say the same. Diane Ames, art gallery owner. Very well. I'll be sure to do that. One other thing. That argument with Carol just now. She's always like that. She thinks of me as an enemy, always bickering at what I say. Is there any reason for that? Perhaps because someone she liked ended up with me in my bed? Well, that would explain it, yes. Uh. If I may be so bold, who was the lucky man? Oh, I sleep with anyone I wish. Anyone I prefer to sleep with. Go on. I guess she had her eye on one of them, but I don't know who it was exactly. I could sleep with you. If you like. I'm flattered by your offer, but I don't think that would be appropriate. You're exactly the kind of woman a man in my job should never get involved with. Isn't that a shame, darling? Did I just block my own shot? <laughs> I'll be frank. Right now, you are not a suspect. But both Zack and I are certainly feeling shaky about you. If you want to remain in the clear, just watch yourself from now on. Oh, you don't know, do you? Artists and art lovers, we love a good thrill. Thank you for your help. I have nothing further to ask you at the moment. Goodbye. Ooh, or got flustered. Uses art gallery, perfect. All right, let's see what uh, George and Emily have to say. I had a chat with Diane. She said she was at the bar drinking with Nick at the time of the murder. We need to confirm her story. Let's talk to Nick at the diner. Very well, Agent Morgan. I have to head back to the department and clear up some paperwork. Go with Emily to the A&G diner. Heck yeah. Okay then. I'll show you the way. The diner's open from 9 to 2100. Just as we suspected, Zach. Diane is the key to this case. I have a feeling she will lead us right to the criminal. That's Kaysen. What's Forrest doing here? Looks like the show has just begun, and it has an all-star cast. Huh. Well, they did drive together, so that doesn't really surprise me, I guess. I, I, I guess I don't know what to, to take of that. Nonetheless, thank you all for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time in this episode, and we will see you and lovely Emily in the next episode as well. Bye-bye.